Hi, this is Travis with Wakanda Boats here in Republican City, Nebraska. We're also in Glen Elder, Kansas. And today it's my pleasure to show you the brand new 2024. This is a 1975 Tai. Uh, this 1975 Tai is uh, by far our most popular Tai size. Um, it's just a really great boat. It fits a multitude of different demographics. Uh, this is going to be a boat that really appeals to folks that really uh, value the high sides or we, you know the deeper freeboard. This is one of the the deeper boats in their lineup. Um, it's a very versatile boat. It really meets a lot of people. A lot of big water fishermen love it. Guys with bigger families. Um, this boat really is priced really, really competitively in its class. When you want that big 20 foot um, go to model, this kind of fits that bill. So this is the 1975 Tai. Um, I'm going to go over kind of all the upgrades that we stock it from the factory. Uh, this boat was also purchased, so you'll kind of get an idea of what it looks like rigged. We'll point out some of the things that he did. We always customize the rigging for each individual. Um, so we'll just kind of start on the outside here. So this is an Arctic White Silver. Now the way we stock them, we always do the premium graphics upgrade, so you can see that's going to center the logo. And we generally do the chrome raised logo in the center. Um, the other thing we do is upgrade the trailer. So the trailer is the custom trailer upgrade, so that's going to give you the mag wheels, diamond plate fender, it's got the rhino line frame to make it gravel resistant, comes standard with your load guides, um, retractable tie downs, LED lights, it's got a swing away tongue with disc brakes. We're going to move over here up front, another really cool option that they added are these bow steps. <clears throat> this is something people have been asking for for a long time. Uh, and I know people are going to like this, so we're probably, most of the, most of the models we stock, we're going to add these bow steps to the trailer. Now this is an option that you have to, you have to order it with the trailer. Um, it's not really compatible where you can just bolt it on to, to an existing trailer. This is kind of a redesign. You can see the winch post was redesigned by Shorelander to accommodate those steps. So you can bolt the steps off with this winch post, but it does take a specific winch post to make this bow step work. So just wanted to point that out. Let's come around here again to the rear. Um, all of our 1975s we pair with the 225 four-stroke. So we'll have a 225 with hydraulic steering, and we also will have a stainless steel prop. So we have 19 pitch Tempest prop, works really well with this setup. Big, nice, wide 99-inch beam. Um, again, big water boat. Uh, this customer opted for a kicker motor. We always keep the kicker motors in stock, and we just add those for the guys that want them. Uh, it seems like it's only about 30 to 40 percent of the guys add kickers, but we always have them for the guys that want those. So you can do the kicker motor. Uh, he opted for Hummingbird Electronics. I think we have a Helix 12 and Helix 10 on this. So you can see how we rig his transducers here with a transducer plate. Uh, the Hummingbirds do require a high speed transducer, so it's going to have two transducers there. Uh, we have the recessed uh, boarding ladder here, four step telescoping ladder, really nice. And it folds up nicely inside the splash well. This way it's not sticking out for when you're doing your water sports and things like that. Um, let's go into the interior. And you're going to notice too, um, we always do the vinyl floor with the snap out carpet. So you can have your rather you want to pull the carpet out if you're doing heavy fishing or if you want the, car the comfort of the carpet, you can snap that down. Now notice too on the 1975, they come with three pro ride seats and the air ride pedestals. A lot of guys will add the four seat, but not everybody does. Again, we always keep those extra seats in stock so we can add those for guys that want them. Another thing we always pair is your sport top. So like most of your Lund models, it has a really nice hider compartment to get this thing out of the way when you're not using it. But it's a very, very versatile top. We have videos that kind of show you how that top goes up and down and showing the versatility of it. And then we're going to focus here on the rear casting deck. Like all the Tyees, we have jump seats here in the back, so you have added seating capacity when you need it with extra storage underneath. A uh, large aft live well here. Uh, got an LED light, so we got a big live well here. See how this was designed where you don't worry about having, you remember the old school design where you had to take the seat up to access your live well. That's not an issue anymore. You have easy access to the live well. On your starboard side, this also has some storage, but this is also where your crank battery is going to be stored as well. Okay. Um, another nice thing guys like about the TIE is the big spacious gunnel storage that is lockable. So you can open this up. Uh, you can stack rods in here if you want. People use this for any, you know, a multitude of different 
uh, purposes, but it's a big storage compartment that's lockable. Um, so we got that. You can see we got his rod holders rig there. Same thing on the starboard side. This isn't quite as long of a um, storage compartment, but you can see it's pretty spacious there. Uh, we're going to move here to, oh, I'm sorry, rod storage. So this is your in-floor rod storage here. So you can get 10 rods across here. There's an LED light there. When you flip on your courtesy lights, that lights up the whole boat, including your uh, rod storage. You can see travel cover. We always stock the travel cover with these. And then moving to the console, uh, again, I mentioned we have uh, hydraulic steering with tilt. And then, uh, you know, we got a really nice, well-designed console. We can get, you can see, you can get whatever size graph you want on this. This is a 12 inch. We're always gonna mount this on some sort of like, we can see we use a RAM mount. Some guys will be specific if they wanna use a Bulls Out or a Cisco, we can get those as well. RAM mounts seem to be the most popular, the most common. Um, Again, we have a master power switch that controls all of your electronics, uh, kicker stereo that's AM, FM, Bluetooth. And then we're going to move over here to the port side. As everybody is uh, aware of the big spacious glove box that Lund is known for. So we've got a spacious glove box here, grab handles, cup holders, all that stuff. Now as we move up to the bow, you can see we have a step that goes into the bow. Because again, this being a deep boat, you want to have a step to get yourself into the bow and rather than waste that space. You can see we have some storage here where you can use that for whatever you want. A lot of guys will put those uh, Plano tackle trays in here. Another thing that's really nice, they're doing these stainless steel grab handles now. So rather than mess with the plastic handles, we have stainless steel, so they're virtually indestructible. Now we also do the bow cooler option. So this cooler will slide in and out. If you want to pull this cooler out, you can open this up. So if people want to get their feet uh, uh, fastened down when you're up here you can because you can get bow cushions for this now he didn't but you can get your ski package where if you want to get bow cushions and your ski pylon you can add that um, here in the center this is our trolling motor battery storage uh, we've got his onboard charger mounted in here let's move over here we got a big storage compartment here on the port side so we have his charger um, he did a 30 this is a 36 volt Tarova i-link and so we paired this with a four bank charger so that fourth bank is going back to his crank battery. Okay, so we have all this linked to his, uh, his hummingbirds. And then on the Thais, you're gonna get a bow live well as well. So this is your bow live well. You can use this as a live well or a bait well or some guys that don't use their bow live well, you can seal this up, throw ice in there and make it a cooler if you want. We have a lot of guys do that, okay? So I hope this kind of gives you an idea of, of how versatile and why this boat is so popular. Uh, we always have a lot of these in stock. We've got all various colors ordered and coming. Um, you can go on our website, which is wakandaboats.com, to see pictures. Our email and phone number and everything is on the website. This is Travis with Wakanda Boats. Thank you very much.